so no one's wondering but this is what i'm doing tonight um i've got my little fan there i'm blowing in some some air in there to get a little bit more heat to get some more of these um coals burning i've got this little flash i bet you won't be able to see it hang on let me let me see yeah there you go see that it tells us the time but the time's wrong at the moment so we won't worry about that um it's kind of upside down i don't know what's wrong with it but yeah it's one of them led doodad things that tells you the time and um the temperature anyway that's blowing air in there to um in there to make um coals a bit hotter I'll just turn that off and on top i bought this little doodad and it's um it's designed it's a heat sensitive fan so when that base heats up what happens is um by some magic it generates um generates power that's running by itself now there's no battery there's no nothing there's just a heat exchanger anyway so what am i doing I, here i am blah 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 it's my saturday night so you see i'll put it over the top of the vent the fans starting to go faster and the beauty of this is that fan blows the aromas of what i'm cooking in here at the moment um into my magic marquee which you've all seen before but i'll i'll spin it around because it's full of rubbish there's me um inverter from the car in there i'm babysitting a young very very young um jungle python and at the moment he's about to go he or she is about to go through their first shed his eyes have gone all milky so what i've done his his hers sorry so what i've done is what is that so what i've done is um i've covered it over i've got the heater inside there because they like high humidity you know at least 65 67 percent at least so um what i've got is a heat pad and i've got a tray in there that's got um gravel and sand and that i pour water in there and that warms up and just raises the humidity inside the inside the cage and i've also kind of closed it off a lot of the vents to slow down the airflow a little bit so he can um do his shed him her can do their shed um anyway that's that hang on i'll just lift this up just in case they're out where are you nice he'll be hiding somewhere he'll be either inside that under that rock there or inside that little one there or we'll be hiding around the sides of the bucket there that's the bucket that the gravel's in so i'll put the water in the heat pads underneath that and it, it warms it enough to evaporate and raise the humidity anyway i'm rambling um yeah so you all know my little little happy space so yeah let's get to what i was cooking because that's was the whole point of this video hang on sorry about people who get vertigo that fan started to speed up a bit more i'll take that off i bought a um pork shoulder and it's currently sitting inside that that foil is the well for all the wonderful oils and flavors and everything else that's um happening and i've got it up the top here now that's a bit of garlic i'll eat that 
Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Roasted garlic. Yum. Um. I've got it up right up the top now. I'm going to close everything off and seal it so that um, the pork, the um, skin will start to crackle and harden. So I'm going to do that. And you're probably bored and you're probably all clicked away. But if you did, um, if you did watch all the way through, thank you. Yeah. Well, and there's work going on on the ute. And there's work going on, um, you won't be able to see it, but over there on um, on my friend's camp trailer. So, yeah, it's all happening. You all have a good night now.